Hey everyone, so it is once again time for my monthly favorites and once again it snuck up on me. I don't know why, like I said in my last video, I'm always so surprised when this comes around. It's like I don't get it. You know, four weeks, maybe five weeks, depending on how weird the month happens to be, there's gonna be a new one and there's gonna be new favorites. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into my May favorites. First thing I have been loving this month is the Dr. Hauschka Melissa Day Cream. This is made for combination skin and in the summertime and warmer months my skin gets a little bit oily in my t-zone so I find that using a moisturizer for dry skin is just a little bit too heavy for me and one for combination skin is absolutely perfect. Even though I still get a little bit oily in those areas it's not as bad as it would be with a dry skin moisturizer. This one also smells beautiful. Melissa is the Latin name or botanical name for lemon balm, so it smells like that. It smells like lemon balm. Very citrusy, very fresh. I'm gonna smell it right now. Mm. And since it is a day cream, it's going to be a lighter formula. Perfect for summer, perfect for hot weather. And since it's Dr. Hauschka, it is made with beautiful ingredients nothing bad in here at all unfortunately it is a little pricey it runs around 43 bucks but it lasts forever i use probably i don't know a chickpea sized amount maybe a large chickpea sized amount but definitely not to like a grape or anything like that or a blueberry a blueberry sized amount if you will and it's just, it's a beautiful moisturizer and I absolutely love it. Next, I have a nail polish and it is Mineral Fusion Nail Lacquer in the shade Citrus Cove. This is an absolutely beautiful orange color. I love it, I have it on my nails right now and it kind of looks like it matches my shirt but it's much more orangey than this shirt is but it does have a little bit of a red tinge to it. It's definitely more of a red orange than a yellowy orange, a vermilion, if you will. And I don't have any nail polishes that are like this at all. And it's pretty hard for me to find a nail polish that is nothing like anything I have, because I have about like 80 colors, which is awful, but I am a nail polish addict. And that's what I'm addicted to. I'm not addicted to drugs, alcohol, smoking, none of that, just nail polish, pretty much. And I think that with a tan, this just looks so beautiful. I like to put it over a cream colored base. I use OPI's My Vampire's Buff. I just found that it makes the color stand out a lot more and it makes it a little bit more neon, which is what I was looking for out of this nail polish. This is a four free nail polish, actually a five free, nope, four free. One thing has two words in it. So it's free of formaldehyde, tulene, dibutyl phthalate, and camphor. And I really like the Mineral Fusion nail polishes. For a company that is a for free company, the you know color payoff is beautiful. It's very similar to Julep, but instead of $14.99, these babies are $7.99 and they last for a really long time. Next, another thing from Mineral Fusion, it is the Mineral Fusion Lipstick in Tempting. This is one of their new colors from their newer collection. I believe it is their spring summer collection and it's just a beautiful deep raspberry red and I was wearing it in my last video but it came off very much as like a true red on this camera but it is definitely not a true red hopefully when I swatch it it'll come off you know when I swatch it on my hand it'll come off more raspberry maybe it's just my lips I don't know maybe it's my lighting who even knows but it is definitely more of a deep purpley red. It's not quite a berry tone, but I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a beautiful shade. I absolutely love it. I do wear it with a purpley lip crayon underneath just because this is a very sheer co color, which is nice for the summertime because you can kind of, you know, swipe one swipe on and have it during the day and just have a nice little kiss of color. And then at night put on a couple more coats and you can have a really beautiful, you know, full of color pout. These lipsticks are very creamy. And I mean, look at the packaging. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a bronzy 
but like a pinky bronze, not a rose gold, like a rose bronze, I would say. And it's absolutely beautiful. Follows straight through to the bullet. I just, I love it. I think it's so classy and it looks very expensive to me. And since it is from the brand Mineral Fusion, it is free of all sorts of junky crap like parabens and fragrance and that kind of stuff. And speaking of fragrance, these smell like absolutely nothing. And I like that. I don't like it when my lipstick smells like I put perfume on my face because I don't put perfume there and I don't want it to smell like that. <laughs> Next, I have discovered a brand new shaving cream and it is the now brand NutraShave Natural Shave Cream. And it says right on the front that it removes pore clogging residue, which is my big issue. I get a lot of ingrown hair, a lot of razor burn, just, you know, stuff clogging up my shit and I don't want it. <laughs> And I really, really, really like this a lot more than I thought I was going to. It's a thicker formula, which I have found, but a couple people that I've talked to about it have said that it's a thinner formula, so maybe I just got like a great one out of the bunch and it's a little bit thicker or I don't use as much water, I don't know, there are a million possibilities, but the smell, oh, oh god, it smells so good. Oh. Now, I'm not usually one for citrus. I don't like citrus scents. I like lemon by itself. I like lime by itself. I don't usually like orange at all when it's like a fragranced type thing. I like oranges, the smell of fresh oranges, but when it's orange scented, even if it's an orange essential oil, even if it's completely natural, I usually don't like it. This is um, Satsuma essential oil. Oh, it's just so pretty. I have to smell it again. Mm. Oh, it smells like Sunny D. That is exactly what it smells like. It smells like Sunny Delight, and it makes me feel like a kid again. But it's, it's just so pretty, and I find that the formula is really, really nice, and I shave my legs a lot more in the summertime as most of us do but I am definitely one of those girls in the winter time where if I don't need to or until like my leg hair is blowing in the wind I won't shave my legs so in the summertime I shave them much more than I do in the colder months and the next thing I'm gonna talk about kind of assists the shaving cream and it is the Derma E Vitamin E Intensive Therapy Body Lotion it's fragrance free. I really, really like this. I wasn't expecting to like it that much. I believe I mentioned it in my cold weather comforts video, which was like back in February or something like that. And it does have a bit of a smell to it. It smells like olive oil, which I did mention, but the formula of it and how soft it makes my legs and I don't get razor burn again, which, you know, even if you have the best shaving cream around, you wash that off and afterwards your skin can still get irritated if you don't have something to replenish the moisture with. So this has been working beautifully. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is definitely going to help pull in that moisture. And it also has green tea, which is going to soothe the skin, which I like. A lot of times they use green tea in um, like after sun lotions or things for sunburn because it's very soothing to a burn. And razor burn is a burn. It's in that burn category. And this helps with any sort of flakiness that I could have because even though it's summertime and my skin isn't necessarily dry, I still do have dry skin. So I still can get a couple little flakes which aren't cute. It's just not cute at all. So next, I'm gonna talk about my favorite television show for May and that was definitely Grey's Anatomy and not the new stuff that's on television right now but I have been Netflix binge watching Grey's Anatomy like nobody's business I forgot how good of a show it is I never watched it from the beginning I kinda came at, into it around season 3 and then I stopped watching it for a long time and then came into it again and then stopped watching it came into it again and Right now, I'm about, I think, halfway through season five, and I just, I love it. It's so overly dramatic, but it's good, and it's fun, and sometimes it's really, really funny. It makes me, like, laugh out loud. It makes me guffaw, which, if you guys don't know what that is, look it up. It's, it's not cute. And also, the actor who plays Denny, which 
anybody who has watched the show will have a special place for Denny in their heart. I'm obsessed with him. Like, he is the perfect man. Absolutely perfect man. I want to marry him. And Hillary Burton from One Tree Hill, and for those of us who remember, TRL is married to him, and I'm so jealous of her, and they like have a baby and everything, and I want to be her because he is a beautiful hunk of a man. And now I will collect myself and move on to my favorite song of the month, which is an oldie but a goodie, and it is Sea of Love by Cat Power. It was used in Juno in like the birth scene, and I've had it stuck in my head so often this month, and it's just such a sweet and lovely song. Very relaxing, very chill. I believe it is a cover, so nothing innovative, but it's just an absolutely beautiful song. I love Cat Power's voice, and it just makes me feel all nice inside. And my favorite book for the month of May was Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. I tried reading this, I believe it was last year, and the movie Practical Magic is one of my favorite movies, if not my favorite movie of all time, and I hold that movie very close to my heart, very near and dear to my heart. So when I first started reading the book and I realized that it's the movie is loosely based on the book, so the book is very different from the movie, I was kind of disappointed, so I stopped reading it and recently I really wanted to read it again and give it a chance and it ended up being an excellent book. I kind of separated it from the movie, you know, I took the movie as the movie and the book as a book as two separate things, just with the same name and kind of the same story. But it was really, really good. Her writing is a little bit scattered, so if you haven't seen the movie and you don't know characters' names and kind of like how things are associated, you might get a little bit lost, but her writing is very free in that sense as well, very free-flowing and just absolutely beautiful. Her descriptions are really great without sounding like overly adjective crazy and it's not like super heavy on describing table linens or something, you know, reminiscent of George R. R. Martin who writes the Song of Ice and Fire series and will go on two paragraphs talking about a table runner. Anyways, moving on from that. It is an absolutely lovely book and if you have seen the movie, I suggest checking out the book but remembering that they are two separate entities and if you like quirky stories that center around a group of strong women, then I think you will definitely enjoy this book. That's all that I have for this video and I'm sure I will have lots of new fun shiny things for you next month that I have been loving so make sure to stay tuned for that. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys all next week. Bye! Summer breeze makes it feel fine.